All right. Is that it? Okay, okay. Hold on a second now. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ladies and motherfucking gentlemen, how the hell are you? I'm your boy. I'm your usual dude. The one and only Ron Ripley, your rogue pogue. Today, on the Day of Days, we're going we're gonna to talk about all sorts of weird shit, specifically Afghanistan. I don't usually get into politics, but we're going to do it today. Uh, we're going to be joined with some Raplonians in our... In our lobby, we are going to be uh, just if your Monday already sucks, you're in the right place. You know, like this is there's so much shit in the world that's just going to piss you off. It's not what we do here. That's not what we do with the with, with myself and the Raplonians. We like to just kind of take whatever is shitty in the world and just take a big giant shit all over that. <clears throat> you know, maybe have a few drinks. Have a few laughs, tell a few jokes, say some naughty words, you know? This show is definitely not for children, but it is for you. Uh, I'm so happy that you guys are here. Oh, look at that. Uh, people are hitting me up. People are hitting me up. They want to hop into the lobby. I'll let them in uh, as time goes by. Now's a great time to share this link. We're going to get into a lot of... A lot, of, a lot of subjects. It's going to be fraught with danger. Uh, share with your friends. If you're a veteran that went to Afghanistan, you know, we might be getting into some shit today. If you want to be part of the show, friend me on the old Facebook. Become friends with me, Ron Ripley. Uh, and then maybe we can get you dialed in and get you on the boards and let you weigh in on uh, whatever your thoughts of the day may be. <clears throat> uh, beyond that... I know Mondays suck, but I hope you get some consensual sexual activity and, and you have, you know, you understand that you're a beautiful, wonderful human being and nobody tells you that often enough. All right. So enough, enough uh, breaking my arm, jerking you guys off. You want to hang out today? Hit me up on Facebook. Also, follow me at, uh, at Ron Ripley Ride on Instagram. Like and subscribe VRS. Uh, veteran Radio Syndicate, they have tons and tons of veteran-run content, shows of all kinds, shows about books, shows about drinking, shows about sports. Check them out on Facebook. Check out my shit, too. Check out Alarm Red Media. Pew, 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 pew. Check out alarmredmedia.com. Uh, and 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 if you like that, we're, we're a veteran-owned content creation company. And with that being said, while you guys are out there, uh, sharing, liking, subscribing, getting fucking dialed in, getting your drinks, getting settled in, gonna, gonna, gonna get weird today while we're doing that. Uh, I'm gonna, <clears throat> I'm gonna actually just go ahead and, and queue up a word from our unofficial sponsor, uh, Prestola, ladies and gentlemen, Prestola. Do you struggle with the realization that drugs are awesome? Do you play Sudoku or pray on the week? Have migratory birds ever made you question your menstruation? Stop struggling with the crippling sobriety of everyday life and ask a homeless person or big pharma if Prestola is right for you. People who abuse Prestola describe feelings of euphoria, general disregard for their families and friends, and their own personal well-being. Prestola is proven to make you more attractive to male exotic dancers while using Cards Against Humanity as currency. Don't use Prestola if things are going really well for you. Complete breakdown of uterine linings is common among men who have ever considered taking Prestola. When used after midnight, Prestola will transform old cars into working kaiju, as well as increase flatulence within 12 miles of Dallas. Alimony, hair loss, and increased golf stores are entirely certain the side effects of ingesting Prestola. Children under the age of 63 months become completely impotent when taking Prestola for longer than 63 months. 
If you suffer from long-term psoriasis, inappropriately long hold time, hallucinations, memory loss, priapism, phobism, blood clots, compulsive behaviors, Sensen Johnson's disease, suicidality, homicidality, homosexuality, brain cancer, lung cancer, liver cancer, lung cancer, heart cancer, arm cancer, frame cancer, nerve cancer, Johnson Stevens disease, Lou Gehrig's disease, Gehrig Lou disease, birth defects, home defect. In some extreme cases, individuals have been known to enroll in gender studies college courses down at the local community college. Dementia, dyslexia, schizophrenia, mania, shingles, rickets, cheese whiz, eggs, milk, butter. Do not take this drug if you intend to go gambling within the next 10 years. Prestola is all organic and made from gecko placenta. Do not use this drug if you are a priest. Prestola has never withdrawn from the Paris Climate Accord. Prestola is proud to experiment on children. Prestola. There is absolutely nothing dangerous about this drug. Okay, all right, fucking ladies and gentlemen, that's uh, that's Prestola. That's Prestola. I'm so glad you guys are here. And it looks like we got another another homeboy, Gunny Brian. Gunny Brian's in the house. What's going on, everybody? The sluttiest and favoritest Raponians. Welcome, welcome back. And while everybody, oh man, see if I can do this real quick. While everyone was uh, getting their shit situated with uh prestola we uh we just changed our view check it out fucking ryan's back ryan's back so ryan and brian boom uh now 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 it's a party uh welcome gunny brian thank you uh, brother uh, and all of our viewers thank you for tuning into the show let us know uh you know you just check out the show and uh get in those comment sections if you guys want to have your comments shown like uh like jody over here like we can uh oh oh there you go point how's hey, that oh, there he is now? yeah there he is. Yeah. is yeah um yeah what's up jody how the hell are you thanks for tuning in uh spread the love let's get let's get uh we we can kind of get into it um gunny brian you're a marine you you're you you did a little time in afghanistan is that correct sir i did not serve in afghanistan uh, i did yeah. a year in iraq gotcha well, what yeah. about uh, what about what about what's going on uh, in Afghanistan? Uh, well, you were an embassy guard. So. Yeah, yeah. So I do have that experience. Yeah. What what's what do you think the year? What's the, your insight into the final hours of uh, the uh, the Afghanistan? What is it? Yeah. The cool mm -hmm. Embassy, American embassy. Well, well let, let me ask you. Let me ask your answer your question with with another question. Let me tell you something. Is <laughs> cluster fuck one word or two words i don't it's, i don't know it can be just i think it's one i think it depends on how you feel you it's know? google yeah sure. I okay, okay. <laughs> so it's google the, so the, that pretty much sums up my opinion of it cluster fuck cluster well fuck. correct yeah. me if i'm wrong um but didn't the the taliban come to power from a similar situation to where we were there we had a bunch of equipment and shit there and then we pulled out and then they Whoa. came in and took everything that we left to my knowledge and someone if you're out there and you want to weigh in and if i'm if i'm wrong school me on it don't let me be incorrect but if uh if i'm not mistaken I, I believe you know the the old russians after the cold war tried to get in the to afghanistan and because we didn't like russia we armed afghanistan then to uh, fight the russians the kurds right yeah i believe and no, uh no no no, no. Is no. that that's incorrect? The, the Kurds were in Iraq. Yes, they were right. our allies in Iraq. <laughs> the people that that we equipped uh, was the Mujahideen. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And that that's basically you know freedom fighters. Roger so, that. Yeah, so we equipped them to fight against Russia. And, and Russia, then, essentially, the point though is Russia was beaten back with all their resources and and yeah. masses and stuff. So, yeah. You know, Afghanistan held. So you know, now and, all this time later, we come in and kind of try to do the same thing. Yeah, and and we gave them stingers to shoot down Russian helicopters, basically. Got to sting a little bit, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Boom. So, uh, is there a yeah. silver lining to be found in this at all? Do you think? Trump 2024. Trump 2024. Uh, yeah, I don't know about that shit, but no, I, I think it's gonna be DeBlasio. I, I, you know, quite frankly, I I don't see any damn silver cool. lining. No, I I don't, because the the thing that pisses me off so much is we 
waged war there for nearly 20 years, lives lost, trillions of dollars spent, all that fucking time just to get the Taliban back in power. Are well, that happened, and that's me? just it. It's like it's all over the news today. I mean, it's I don't, I don't, I don't, yeah. like I have to fucking inform anybody. And if you're a veteran, you know what the hell is going on. Yeah, we're and, in Afghanistan and, right now. You know, it personally stings because I lost a good friend of mine over in Afghanistan. That's the case with so many. Yeah. 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 So I, I did not serve in Afghanistan, but I know plenty of well, people that touched, did. You know. Yeah, plenty of people that did. And I had a personal friend fucking die from a roadside bomb over there. Man. So f for all that sacrifice, you're telling me now the fucking Taliban are back in power. Sorry, that that pisses me off. Well, it's funny. I'm looking at this. Uh, I'm just like Googling, like, what are the numbers? You know, if you just Google Afghanistan, if you misspell Af Afghanistan because you're a moron like me, <laughs> uh, it'll correct you, but it'll take you here. So, I mean, like, yeah, 3,200 wounded. Uh, is that what they're saying? Civilians and army? Yeah, I, I've seen different numbers fucking all over the place, you know. At, at yeah. the end of the day, thousands of Americans were killed. Yeah. We can agree upon that. Yeah. All right. On that. There was probably tens of thousands wounded and, and had, you know, significant injuries. And then you think of the countless thousand Joe Schmo Afghanis that got wasted left and right. Yeah. Just for the fucking Taliban to come back into power. Yeah. That pisses but, me off. I mean, it's, uh, dude, I wonder if I can, there's I mean, got to be something about it. Uh, it always I mean, stings the most when at the end of the day, after all of that turmoil and all of that suffering, you're like, well, what was the point now? But like, I mean, like, exactly. You know, the same argument could be made for Iraq, though. I mean, that's the same shit. Same and, shit. And, you know, I found and, more. And, I, I found and, just as many WMDs over there as Matt Damon did. Fucking. Yeah. And, and here's the thing. I'll fucking lump Iraq into the same fucking boat. I'll lump fucking Vietnam in the same goddamn boat. Well, that's you know the thing, I mean? though, is, is is what I was interested in, in about the numbers. It's dangerous. To, I think it's dangerous to draw too many parallels to Vietnam. Uh, just just based on the fact, like, you know, with respect to Vietnam vets, there's 55,000 fucking names on that wall in Washington. True. And, you and know, just, just I absolutely that, never, that, you know, ever. We can all agree on that. Yeah, no, and I would absolutely never take away from their sacrifice and the fucking I mean, shit yeah, that just, they went through. I, mean, I thought that'd be interesting to hear your perspective, seeing how, like, the embassy withdraw. Yeah, so, so I mean, every embassy, you know, and consulate has some kind of evacuation plan, you know. Um, but, man, it just, it really seemed like uh, this was fucking chaotic and just completely at, fucked basically do you know, like at what point they absolutely say they're just like um yeah get everybody out 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 we got a helicopter well, fucking roof in 20 minutes you know, yeah when did I, they make I, that decision yeah i don't know about that but but what was telling me uh, you know a couple days ago uh was the ambassador or whoever ordered you know the destruction of classified material at it at the embassy and basically, that's a huge red flag right there. That that means everybody's fucking prepping to get the hell out of there, you know. And that's well, when well, Brady know, and I were looking at it, and it's like uh, there was like one article that was like, "Yo, the Taliban now have like all sorts of helicopters and shit." And I'm like, Brady, yeah. Yeah, they have a fuck ton of our equipment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, no, they have a fuck ton of our equipment, but they don't but have do any trained they, pilots. <laughs> they don't have trained pilots, and like, do you think that they'd probably? I mean, I assume they would be like, "Hey, take all of the fucking computer chip." Like, there's got to be like a master kill switch or something they can take. Uh, that there's no way the helicopter will run without that part, or I don't fucking know. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Brady, Brady, he, Brady he might be able to fucking. Brady talk would it. know. Where is he? The, wait, where's the keys to? <laughs> hey, where's the keys to the Humvee? God damn it! You need to find the keys to the Humvee. All toggles, man. Uh huh. But uh, Brady, back well, me up that, on that. The other thing I was thinking of is, yo, dude, 
there wasn't a, a fucking shot. Like, was there shots fired? Like, I I heard I heard gunfire in the background of some videos, but it's like, I, yeah, that that was probably around. It didn't come in and fucking murder anybody. Like, as a, like they 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 pre planned this. I don't think there was a military presence at the embassy at the time, or like a large enough one. And they had like a, a forewarning, "Hey, they're coming," and they were just like, "We got to get the fuck out of here." And I think that's what you know caused the issue because they found out there wasn't a large military presence. And I think, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I saw recently in the news that Biden himself is like, we're going to go back in. Well, I mean, you know, they're like, well, if we got it, we got it. I was I even ran this by idea by my wife. Tell me what you guys think about this. And, and usually my wife is the first rational human being to say, Ron, that's a terrible idea. She'll let me know. But she actually uh, liked she actually she, she molded this one over for a second. Let me know what you think. Uh-huh. You've got all these you've got all of these fucking you've got all of these Taliban in these government buildings. They're like, oh, the Taliban's just taking control of 20 you know, all the all the fucking local uh-huh. capital buildings. It's like, OK. Wow. And, it, and everybody that we know, like all the Afghan politicians and shit have fled. All the Taliban are occupying these buildings. Why are we just raining down tungsten rods from God on Kabul right now? It's like I've seen pictures of like all the people trying to exfil the the capital, man. It's like there's traffic jams. It's like a goddamn zombie apocalypse. Yeah. So dude. why? What's why? I mean, would yeah. why don't Fuck we just it. fucking boo and just be like, cool, not for nothing? Yeah. That. I, the Marine side of me loves the idea. I mean, just turn it into a fucking glass crater. Is there you know, a realist side uh, that you're... The realist side is, is then we'd be fucking, you know, fucking demonized by everybody as, you know, oh my God, that was a war crime. Oh, is it? You know. Is it a war crime? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Did you, did you mean, listen? Funny. Look at this. This is so fucking cool, man. That's the inside of a C-17. I... I love that, but it shouldn't have gotten to that fucking point. Yeah. Did you see the video where the people were hanging on the plane and then they yeah. fell off at yeah. about four hundred feet? Where the fuck was the security? Well, that's for just the fucking it was airfield. Funny. There wasn't a shot fucking fired. Uh, hey, in Facebook, you can't get me in trouble for playing this well, because it's you. on Facebook. I Look, it's on Facebook. Look at that. CNN's uh, page. And I know. You yeah, know but it's you know. Here. I don't know. Are they? Yeah. I just want to see if they're going to show. Do, 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 do. No, they're not going to show the people falling off. But no, I don't think they're going to show no. people falling off. I just want to see. And they would have gotten. You know, like what what shit looks now, like out there right now. I don't know. Top yeah. fucking talking heads. Well, to be, to be oh, yeah. Oh, 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 they actually did oh. show that. Yeah. Oh, God damn. Well, yeah. But, but, you know, I mean, from a security oh, standpoint, hey, what hey, the hey, fuck? But, what, why are all these people on the tarmac? Dude, that's another thing that drove. I was like, "Yo, how did they? How did they get out there? How yeah. like? Oh, I, I mean, really was, if, did you see that fucking World War Z movie? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. No, Pop those are two fucking right. people, right, dude? Boy. Yeah. And and here's the thing. I like I could. Any one of those people could have been a suicide bomber and fucking took out that plane. The whole plane. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know I what mean, I mean? It seems so like that, there's ah, there's absolute chaos. Yeah, and 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 that's what I'm saying. Like, where the fuck was the security on that? Did like, you? Uh, did I've you never seen an airfield where you just have thousands of people fucking running across it. I don't know. We got to ask the Air Force what was up with that. What's what's up with your uh, security? They were fucking bailing out, man. They're like all those yeah, guys. Are probably, not a, why not? Why not? not yeah. Dakota just watching the hangers. It's yeah, ridiculous. but you know. I mean, he, here's the thing. Now we're sending thousands of troops back into there to secure the airport, to the, secure our fucking evac route. When I'm like, well, why the fuck weren't they there in the first place? I like this. This has nothing to do with Afghanistan, but it's an <laughs> emaciated bear cub. You know, oh, that sucks. Uh, just, you know, separated from mom because yeah. of a wildfire. You know, let's uh, yeah. not forget. Yeah. It's still about us. Uh, Let's, let's, let's have a couple of memes where we're kicking puppies too. Yeah, I mean, just what the fuck? Why not? I'm you know? some conjecture. Actor arrested. I, I think. Uh, I think that it's. Uh, it was a reason for response. Like it. It was. It was. I don't want to say a planned event, but it was a reason mm-hmm. for response because 
in and I'm not this isn't a Trump Biden thing, but in the past four years with with Trump in office, everything was kind of de escalating. Yeah. And no, you don't, you don't, you don't think, think so? Because so? no. he made peace with how many people? He shook hands with how many leaders? Now, granted, does that mean? Oh, geez, look know. at the it's fucking not. news, man. It's all just poop. Yeah. I, I, he, he, here's the thing. And, and let me make this perfectly fucking clear. Oh. I think both the Democrats and Republicans oh, trash. Fuck, the, are, fuck the pooch on this. It's beyond I mean, partisanship, man. It's really like, yeah, you yeah. know, you got to take I some think, personal responsibility. We were there yeah. for 20 years. We, we you know, yeah, like the, this went through multiple administrations both republican and democrat they all fucked it you know the generals yeah. fucking told them hey these are things that that we need or these are things that should be done and they didn't fucking do it you know so it's just one of those things where i'm just at everybody politicians generals fucking Totally drop the they, fucking screwed pooch they on this all one. Can, they all can share that sh shit. Which sandwich. is probably why the Washington yeah. Monument was struck by lightning. Shit. Um, you know. But, Did you? but at, at, at the end of the day, you know, the, day. The, the, the thing that pisses me off is, is all these fucking high-ranking people, they're not the ones suffering. It's the yeah. fucking Joe Schmo. You know, it's the fucking soldiers that were well, on the battlefield. Yeah, the Marines, everybody, Air that was, Force. everybody yeah. that's, a, you know, from veterans to to the civilians that are still there. Yeah. I mean, yeah. holy shit. What do you think it what do you think it'd be? It's going to be like to to have the, the country's, you know, the capital's abortion clinic running there. You think that's going to be happening next week? Probably not. Wait, say that yeah. one more time. I don't know. I don't really know yeah. how they do things over there. Uh, yeah. I, I, I think of abortion is typically pow, pow. Oh. There was something I said. Yeah, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. There we go. Um, I aborted them both. <laughs> Everyone, just before you fucking send me lots of hate mail, lighten the fuck up. These are jokes. Relax. Like That's the whole point of this show. Is uh, you know, like we're not. Oh, that's cool. This whole point of the show is, uh, you know, I would love to talk about serious things. Um, and I, you know, like I said, with respect to everybody, there's there's plenty. There's no reason why everybody can't weigh in. If you want to yeah. weigh in at home, weigh in in the comments section on on the in Facebook. We'll put them on there. Tracy, new, nice, yeah. nice to see you. But yeah, I, man, it, I, I I could I could vent about this shit for hours. I mean, it just. It pisses me off that the American fucking government, whatever, politicians, we don't learn from our past fucking mistakes. We keep repeating the same goddamn mistakes yep. over and over again. Well, and that's, so there is that to a degree, you know, I mean, think about it this way. It's like Iwo Jima, you know, the statue raising the flag. I mean, a battle like that. A battle like Normandy. I mean, mm -hmm. what do you think? I don't think that's probably ever. I don't know if I'm ever going to see that in my lifetime again. Like that mass organized military movement. We're closer to another revolutionary war than our well, civil I, war. Yeah. Is it? yeah. <laughs> be it. I, I mean, he, so, here, here's the thing. I don't wish for fucking World War Three. No. You know, I, I don't wish for war, period. All right. But God damn it, if we're going to wage it. You wage it a hundred fucking percent. Well, and that's you just it's like how, yeah. what, I mean, like, honestly, the point I was trying to make is like the death toll goes down. Like from World War II, it was like 80 million people died. Mm -hmm. You know, that Korea less Vietnam, yeah. it was at 55,000 names on the wall. And then, you know, now here mm -hmm. it's, like, it, it's, it's, it, you know, sure. it's less. so it is going down. And I think that's because of our use of technology, our, our advanced well, and effectiveness. Right. Yeah. 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 So we and know, our rules so and engagement. Hey, Ron. We and haven't been on a punitive. We haven't been on a punitive expedition since World War II. Well, that's yeah, true. yeah. You know? I mean that. That's what I'm saying. Like since wait, World no, War wait, II, I'm sorry. Wait, what do you never, mean by that? Punitive. We, the fucking right. gloves have been on since World War II. We haven't, we haven't so gone you, to if you think about it, we bombed. Uh, wait, when's the last unilateral bombing of a city that we've done? In, in, in maybe linebacker one or two, maybe, and that and that's that's even questionable. No, wait, didn't Trump drop a fucking Moab on somebody? Wasn't he all bragging about it? It's the mother yeah, of all Yeah, that, that, that was on a civilian centers. 
when we yeah. bombed Dresden in, in World War II, we didn't care who we hit. We hit factories. We hit civilians. We, we burned it to the, the fucking ground. ground. And yeah. that was the last punitive. I, I mean, and and uh, and Brian, help me out here because I, I'm trying to think. Linebacker one and two in Vietnam were probably, you know, the unilateral bombing of Cambodia was maybe the last one. But even then, I don't know that we tar I mean, did we bomb I, Hanoi? I don't know. Uh, we dropped a shit ton of, of ordnance, you know, north of the fucking, the uh, whatever the line between north and south, you know, um, Vietnam. I mean, we, we dropped a shitload of bombs on fucking, on, you know, north Vietnam. But, you know, it's not just fucking bombs. You know, it, it's got to be a targeted fucking strategic thing. You know, right, I mean, but I mean, in Dresden, we just took. You know, here's the thing: it, we yeah, took, no, we leveled that fucking place. We we took the we we bombed Dresden. We bombed, you know, I think we bombed Munich. We bombed we bombed Berlin. We bombed everybody. We bombed the shit out yeah. of everybody. Oh, we just took. We the fucking nuked Hiroshima <laughs> and Nagasaki. I just watched a, a video about like it was like called like World War Two oversimplified, and it was just like. Like little basic cartoons that were drawn like uh, Cards Against Humanity. It was actually very succinct, very comprehensive. Yeah. And I was just like, oh, oh. Hey, 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 Ron, I, I love this this comment down here. Tracy, Tracy Roscoe, <laughs> shit, we blew up Toledo, Ohio in 1921. That's true. We did do that. And well, Good fuck point, it. Tracy. I was going to say, there wasn't, a, there wasn't any loss there because I'm from Toledo, Ohio. <laughs> hey, and we actually were pretty cool. Hey man, if you do you, do you were you a fan of Tony Paco's? I, I like Tony Paco's, the Hungarian hot dogs, all that yeah. good stuff. I mean, there there there's better shit out there. Tell you the truth, when I, shut I just, your fucking boot mouth right now. <laughs> hey, I, I, I'll be the first to admit there there is better shit than Tony Paco's. Tony Paco's is legendary. It's iconic. But there's better shit than Tony Packers. I'm just fucking with you. There is. Yeah. I, I just. But one one culinary fact: you can't fucking find Chili Mac outside of fucking <laughs> Northwest Ohio. I can't. I can't find can't that find shit. Chili anywhere. Mac outside of Northwest Ohio. Well, how, do, how do you do Chili Mac with the fucking little elbow macaroni? Yeah. It's, yeah. Nope. Burger, nope. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. nope. That's not fucking Midwest Chili Mac. All right, you well, do it with well, fucking spaghetti noodles. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. goddamn chili. This little, veterans will throw. always bring it back to food. Hey, fuck yeah, <laughs> chow. Hey, chow is continuous. Goddamn it, we're chow is continuous. About, yeah. about unex, unexplicit like bombing of places, and we're like, let's get the food. Fuck, okay, can you imagine <laughs> oh, yeah. if you were a Nazi like back in the day, and you saw like an American invasion coming at you? You could have just fucking thrown like some delicious food at the fucking grunts and been able to escape. <laughs> Fuck, dude, <laughs> dude, throw them some fucking Snicker bars. You know they'll eat those oh, things fuck instead yeah, of fucking you know Snickers today. Uh, yeah, Snickers yeah. In, instead of fucking Snickers, you know, baby, killing that's some people, huh? Post therapy meal. You know what do you what do you guys of think? Black man? Wall Street. And oh yeah, I, I have never heard that that Toledo had a Black Wall Street. I thought that was out in fucking um, Oklahoma. Yeah, where the wind goes sweeping down the plains. All right, Shatner. Um, Anyways, we're now, about to who the fuck are you, around. dude? Speaking of speaking of wars and terrible situations, uh, how's everything in Cuba? Sucks. Everything sucks. Um, yeah. So, are you in, hey, are you in Mando? Are you in Cuba? No, no, right now, no, no. Okay. I so. Quick backstory: After everything started with Cuba, I I like I plan on going down there, and I got in like I got in communications with a group of people that you know have the same idea, and uh, and I was like you know let's go check it out. So I went down to Florida, and I was very disappointed. Why? Very, Why? very disappointed. Wait, uh, was disappointing. It, it was it was a group of people about like 17 20 people and they have they have a good heart but they're not really like they didn't know what the fuck they they're doing and organized exactly exactly no the organization was okay they, they 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 had a lot of ammo actually a lot of fucking oh, ammo 
That's not yeah, uh, that's not organization that's having a lot of ammo. No, yeah, they, 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 they had a good no no they had a good chunk of land where like where they were training, but you know only like four people knew like what the fuck they were actually doing. Four people actually had spent money, you know, out of their pockets to go to like classes and stuff like that. And like two guys there other than me were veterans, and everybody else were just there just because they're willing to go and fight, but they're not. They have no experience, no prior training, no muscle memory, you know. Just and it, it was just a little disappointing. So and and plus, they they didn't have a very solid plan, and on how to 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 go in if they were gonna go uh, anytime soon. And I was like, yeah, you're not just gonna go to like the mid, very front yeah. beach, uh, like the very front coast of fucking Havana, like because like they're not gonna be waiting for you. Like they're gonna see you ten miles away. So how are like what are conditions like in Cuba right now? Hey, I'm gonna sign off. I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a night. I just wanted to jump on here for a second. Hey, uh, yeah. Yeah. Great. No so worries. Guys, um, you guys have a good night and uh, Ron, keep doing good work, man. Love you. Cheers. Yeah. You as well. Have a good night. Situation in Cuba is it remains the same. It remains the same. Uh, it's actually gotten funny. Oh, you guys are eating. Yeah, okay, my wife, my wife's gonna bring me a sandwich in a little bit. Oh goddamn! Um, I, I didn't know it was pizza night. Fuck. You're gonna eat, um, man. Well, I'm gonna go get some fucking pizza. Look at the size of these roomies, dude. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. By the Bro, way, it like, always comes like back to chow. That looks like a fucking salami. That's big. It, it, it always comes back to chow. It always <laughs> comes back to chow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean. Yeah, you true. Know, the no. plight of the Cuban people is really, really bad because I fucking love Cuban sandwiches and plantains and fucking red bite rice and beans and all that good stuff. You Look, know? I tell you this: when we go to Vegas, uh -huh. when we go to Vegas. Right, <laughs> I'm gonna take you to a place. So I went to one of the protests in Vegas. Oh right, I, we took a ride to Vegas to join like the people from Arizona and Vegas, and I took a ride to Vegas and went to this place. Oh my God, it's kind, it's it's not a buffet, right? But you know, it's like a <laughs> restaurant where you, it's kind of like a deli where you go and yeah. you actually see what they're serving, so you can tell them what you want, mm -hmm. and it's like oh. the, the the amount of food that I haven't had in a long time. I haven't even yeah. heard of. They have yeah. it there. Uh, pastries that I never had here that I had them only in Cuba and not everybody mm -hmm. makes them here. They mm -hmm. have them there. And I was just like. They have guava pay pastries. They, they uh, have it's, it's, not a buffet, it's not a buffet, but it's like they, they, it's up, they're up on a showcase so you can you uh, can see, see them. See. But Tr they have Tracy, a lot. Tracy. Uh, is saying, man, you you got to oh, get no, the name of this place. To go in Vegas, that's funny. You better Google that motherfucker. Come on. The is place called is called the Banana Club? Club. What's it called? It's the the, 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 the place is called Carlitos. So it's Carlitos? those, you know, like Carlos, like C A R L O S, yeah, yeah, yeah. but Carlitos, and yeah. uh, it's yeah. Carlitos Cuban uh, Cuban Bakery in Delhi, I think. Oh. Let, let yeah. me make sure. But yo, I'm telling you, like they have it all. They have like you know your your arroz con gris, like the brown rice, and then they have the white rice, and they have the yellow rice, and then mm -hmm. oh, it's Brady. Yeah, yeah, oh, he's shoot. here, walking around. It's, well, dude, I'm, I'm sorry, it sucks. That fucking shit sucks in yes. uh, in in Cuba. Shit sucks in Afghanistan. Shit sucks. Kind everywhere. of everywhere. I, I, yeah. A lot of fucking places. A lot of, I places, mean, lot of places. Ba basically, turn on the news. You you'll fucking see that shit sucks damn near everywhere. It should be uh, the world motto right now. I, we yeah. should tell that should be. How do you say that in alien language? Like so, when they come here and they're like, "What's, uh, your, yeah. what's they, your planet like?" Shit sucks. Hopefully, they, shit up. sucks. Yeah, yeah. This, you know, they're like. Eh. You know, you Hi, aliens. Do they get, you have any water? Talking, water. About aliens, water. talking so, about aliens, I saw this thing the other day that said one thing that we're ready for is aliens, but what yes. we're not ready for is human humans in another planet. What if we go to Mars? We get to Mars, and there's already like a colony of humans there. So at this point, we are the aliens. I someone the comedian that I know uh, fucking posted like uh, what if the aliens uh, that we encounter are just billionaires from other planets? 
<laughs> yeah. yeah, right. Fucking Elon Musk style. Like, they, they just, so they're just they're like, let's go to another planet. They get here and they're like, oh. hey, man, why, why the hell not? I wonder if I can find uh, some alien footage on Facebook so they can't ban me or get me in trouble or flag me so I can. Here we go. Here we go. Alien. I say, as long as you. As long as you got some good scenes from Species, we're cool. Ah, yeah, good old Natasha Henstridge, if you know what yeah, I'm talking about. That, 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 <laughs> that might flag you again, though. <laughs> I, I love it. When, it's like when you look on face. I got to show this to you. If you look on Facebook uh, and you like just do do a search of... Uh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> but you just type Bro, in... Why does the third one, one look like a nipple with... Like that definitely like looks like a nipple, nipple for sure. Nipple. Nah, I, I, I think that's a crumpled up alien footage. Hold on, you guys want to check it out? It's only a minute. I think I think that's a wrinkly ball sack right it's there. A cartoon <laughs> channel. <laughs> <laughs> it's back. So I don't know what you some, uh, so somebody needs to make like an alien video with like two of those googly eyes, but put them on their pull, ball sack. Oh, what's this? So I want to in Tasmania. I want to say this yeah. real quick. Uh, I've I've been listening to uh, the JRE and he talks about this almost nonstop. Uh, the UFOs and the stuff being classified. He was saying that he thinks it might they might be probes, you know, similar to what we send to the other planets. Yeah. And I was I mean, thinking about it today. And what if it's actually us from the future when we're sending back these these spacecrafts or these crafts that can like basically defy the laws of physics because we're so advanced in the future and they're seeing like because this is all relatively new stuff but they're watching all of these moments where the world is getting just completely fucked by us yeah and they're They're thinking about intervening and changing their future like a show hey hey you're saying hey leave leave the fucking marvel multiverse out of this it's not a multiverse it's a future and past (laughs) we don't have fucking doctor strange to navigate this shit so i i don't want (laughs) to start the I don't want to start the fucking time travel stuff. All right. Captain America right here. I'll go get the mask. I don't care. Yeah. We damn sure don't have a fucking Tony Stark, right? It's not Elon Musk. Being Tony Stark, man. Yeah. Who who do you think's gonna be Tony Stark? Uh Elon or Bezos? Dude, neither of them. Because it's not gonna be Gates. Uh he's no, just I'm saying I'm saying one of them none of those me. motherfuckers. Yeah. Neither say, one of them like, if you could they could Bezos, out of their Bezos is clearly fucking Lex Luke. Oh yeah. Lex All right. Or Dr. Evil. Or one hundred percent DC universe. All I'll right? look up that. Uh let me see. Yeah. Be- Bezos is is one hundred percent trying to find some kryptonite for Brady. Superman. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna say he's Doctor Evil. I don't think he's cool enough to be Lex Luthor. There's a lot of he's there's Professor X. I mean, depending oh, on dude, you. he he fucking straight he's out looks like never Lex, be the Lex Luthor. I mean, oh yeah, yeah, look at that shit, man. Professor Charles Xavier, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> Magneto, can we be friends? <laughs> <laughs> The mutants are the future, Charles. <laughs> <laughs> let, them, yeah. let them have their wars. We'll be here to claim what's left. Yes, and I have no legs. You get a beer? I have no legs. You shall not. <laughs> uh, she made me guess it is. Deny re-entry into Earth to Jeff Bezos. Oh, Jesus that's Christ. Just, uh, that's just a fun picture, isn't it? Look at that. Hey, guys, I got a ah. mask. I got to go do work stuff. So I'll catch ah, you he's got to work. What a loser. Uh, uh, yeah. go have enjoy a career, your active you duty part. time, brother. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Cranbone. That's always fun. Yeah. It's always fun. Oh Christ! But, well, no, I mean, hey, dude. You know so what? Good. Look at that. Bro, you know? There do you go. know that there is a website where you can like look up a famous person that is like worth a lot of money, and essentially you're able to spend their money, like uh, hypothetically, on how much you would spend their money. And I think Elon Musk is worth the whole NFL. Like every team when if I say you had the NFL, it's worth like sixty. Elon Musk, okay. Jeff Bezos, Musk. and and fucking Sir Richard Branson, the knight that would become president, Musk, 
100 vote 100 percent Musk. Musk. Well, would. Branson can't be president here. He's a knighted knight. Well, I guess Musk. No, he's he, a he British. Do what he want. He's a British citizen. He's not going to be president in the United States. And Musk was born in South. Yeah, America. no. So. We, we didn't let we yeah, didn't let it so. happen a long time ago. It's not going to happen again. Whatever they'd yeah. be. Well, they'd be the first presidents to break a rule. Ooh. Yeah. Well, <laughs> You have to be born. Sorry. Because if, if that's the case, then Arnold Schwarzenegger would have gotten uh, yeah. elected president when he ran for governor of California. Can you imagine Schwartz's Hey, I was just watching that. I'll terminate him. Is that what you're about to say, Gunny Brian? No, no. I, I was watching that movie, I, Idiocracy. Idiocracy. Oh, idiocracy. <laughs> idiocracy. That was butchering. Yeah. I can't fucking pronounce it, but it's funny as shit. But yeah, it's it's fucking, plants like. No, Terry Crews was the fucking president, man. That shit was funny as fuck. Yeah, oh, dude. That was, oh, that was uh, President you know Camacho. President. Yeah. Okay, oh, yeah, like 15 names. Yeah, there we go. There it is. Yeah. Fucking yeah. <laughs> Terry Crews. Dude, yeah, it was pretty. Welcome to Costco. I love you. Okay. Welcome to Costco. I love you. Mm-hmm. Oh, bro. Mm. Those are the people that are sending the spaceships back. To oh, see what we're doing. See now, if we put that in a, in an alien in a spaceship and just sent that shit out, you know, just Terry Crews as Camacho to like. Wolf. To be found by aliens as an example yeah. of what we could be. This is this is actually a representation. This is like what 1984 was like when it was written in the in the 50s or 60s. <laughs> this, this is the, this the history repeating. Future. That's yeah. funny. Nice, nice. Uh, uh, that was nuts. Guys, I, I I absolutely love chatting with you, but I'm gonna I'm on. It's gonna go. Out. Well, I you know get... what? Maybe we'll call this early tonight because it's kind of fucking depressing. Okay. Sad day. I, no, I just oh. got to get my chow on. I'm fucking hungry. You should have uh, come over and had pizza. Yeah, I know. It yeah. always comes back to chow, man. It always it comes always, back to chow. You know. mm. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, no. Oh, now happen. you're fucking eating too, Mondo. Yeah, I'm definitely out of here. Go I'm hungry. I have dinner on. I wonder if I can do this. 20 years of nailing it in Afghanistan. Of oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, I don't even want to see it. Hey, see you guys later. Have see a great guys. night. Right. See you guys. An ultimate failure. Fuck it. It's Facebook, dog. Well, Can't ban me. That mistake. Thanks uh-huh. to our military and our I'm allies, greatest president. And the brave fighters of Afghanistan. We'll call it after this. The Taliban regime is coming to an end. And yeah, it is. 20 years later. <laughs> working on it. The spirit is tremendous over there your Afghan forces and of the American forces. We're training and we're working with them a very closely yeah, we are. from everybody. Everybody that goes over comes back and say, said, really, it's like a different place. Everybody? Really? It's a different, it's a different, it's a different place. It's better than how we felt. Oh, look, it's the potato. I mean, the president. Hey, there he is. <laughs> it's not remotely comparable to, to Saigon. All right, okay. Mm. I just had an argument today with with somebody. So a buddy of mine, he posted something about, you know, fortunately Biden not doing anything, not even looking at the situation in Cuba. Right. And then he posted some shit like, oh, thanks for nothing. And then this guy was like, the U.S. has its own problems. We've already spent trillions of dollars in the past 20 years, you know, in places like Afghanistan and Iraq for us to have to like, you know, get involved with somebody else. And then you know, my my friend doesn't know much. So he's like, dude, can you reply to this guy? Like, put him in his spot. And I'm like, I don't know much either, but I obviously know more than he does. And I'm like, first of all, dude, right, Afghanistan has its own military. People can actually have guns in Afghanistan. They can defend themselves. And we have spent a lot of money and time training them. They just don't fight because, unfortunately, they're pussies. There's exactly. a lot of foolish. Unfortunately, you know, that's that's what it is. There's a lot of footage of like, you know, Marines, they have their GoPros, they're engaged in combat, and you see the Yeah, and their locals are just like oh, yeah, shit. The local hiding there and <laughs> hiding with a fucking M240 smiling, like hey, like well, no motherfucker, you got the two forty. 
Yeah. You're the one who yeah. has to wait. Oh, get up there. Cut a tree in half. I, 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 literally it. Yeah, it. Uh, I swear it over here somewhere here. That that is that is exactly it. Like we we train these people, and I mean, there's a certain amount of insanity that comes with being an American, right? We're very mm -hmm. my rights, my freedoms, my guns, and I love it. You know, I'm I'm as proud of an proud as an American. Especially as the last one. Yeah. Yeah. Guns. Guns. But when when we go over there and we train train these people, and we're like, all right, like you're gonna die potentially, but this is the situation, and we're gonna teach you how to handle it. And then they're just like, meh. Okay, so we're wasting our time then. I think yeah, it's. So, uh, I don't know if it's like a universal kind of thing because it's like, like Iraq. Every time I worked with like civilian contractors, they were just very meek um, and not very productive. And I don't know if they were just like intimidated, or they were like, "Fuck, man, you know, if I do something wrong, this guy's gonna put a bullet in my head or something." Yeah. But it was just like, Jesus Christ, man, don't you like, don't you want to? You know, you'd you'd sit there, you'd like to sit there and think like, oh yeah, if it ever happened in America, well, you know, if if, if shit like that started, if like, there, I mean, I, can't, I honestly can't say that because people have, and this isn't a stab at any political like ideology or anything, but like people have been doing things that have been destroying communities, and people haven't been getting shot like forthwith, you know, like just out of the gate. Uh, but I feel like if it starts getting to that point to where there's like this group of people like militia style coming in and like kidnapping people and start shooting people, the the difference between us and, and the Middle Eastern folks, it's like, eh, we're going to we're going to try to fuck you up because we're not going to let you run over us like that. But I, can't say, sure. I don't know, man. I just... Because uh, what, what happened in Portland, Oregon with that autonomous zone, the Chaz, <laughs> I mean, they let an entire city basically go down. Just crumble. I mean, yeah. I yeah. Mean, we definitely got our own flaws, but um, sure. shit, man. Fuck, I was going to think of something. I had this one very poignant, very poignant, very perfect thing. You would have said it was brilliant if I can remember. I can keep talking if you want to see if it'll come back to you. I don't know. It might come back to me. Um, um, I gotta talk go. about the same topic we were talking before. Like, go back. Talk about, like, say the same things you said before. They like, just partially, normally it triggers like a <laughs> deadly effect. It's just taking me farther uh, away. Middle from Eastern it. guys are not as brave as Americans, you know. Oh, shots fired! No, ah, here it is. Uh, it's it, it there works. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, it's uh, it's it's like you can't. They have nothing to lose. You can't take anything from them. You know, it's like in in, in World War Two. You know, you'd bomb a fucking city. And the enemy would have to walk around. They'd be like, oh, my God, the library is gone. The fucking schools are gone. The, the hospitals are destroyed. You know, like it's, Taliban doesn't work that way, man. They they steal their food from farmers that they muscle and they live in huts and caves and they can just wait this shit out. They know. I mean, honestly, if you put yourself in bin Laden's fucking shoes like 22, 25 years ago and just say like, man, you know, if, if we do this. What well, they will come at us, you know, same, same as like, same, same as Japan. They're like, yo, dude, we've awakened the sleeping giant. Yeah. So I know that, you know, that, that they had to have asked themselves this question, like, how long could we withstand an occupation? Here? And then, and they're like, well, you know, we held out against the Russians. We can probably hold out indefinitely. Fuck it, man. Let's see how long we can do it. 20 fucking years go by. Well, I mean, but think about it. How long did like the crusades and shit last? It's true like hundreds of years i mean not saying that's like justifiable right. or anything like that and, <laughs> but I'm just we're very saying, pro crusade over here <laughs> but, but what i'm saying is like in the how long was world war ii was that eight years uh yeah, seven eight, seven yeah. i don't know that's uh, google i feel war terrible i don't know was like was like three years maybe yeah and, okay and I mean, okay i'm bagging what you're ranking here and, and, as yeah, as you Mondo gets it. yeah as you as you mentioned earlier right the death tolls are death tolls are going down yeah. with these wars but again our efficiencies are going up and but at the same time it's it's taking longer right it's it takes a lot longer to be bureaucratic and get so issues solved than it does to just go over there and do scorched fucking earth it's no. true. That, that's why you know you're you're running into these issues and unfortunately we've lost a lot of good americans and i'm sure there have been a lot of good middle eastern innocent people not the taliban civilians yeah, and and, that and have lost sympathizers well. and 
you know, that uh, activists, and, proactive and people. And it's unfortunate, and it sucks that America has to be both the the good guy and the bad guy, being the world police. But that's the position you're in when you're the strongest do country you, in the world. Do you know? Do you know that America, like there are countries in the world that don't have a military, and America, it's essentially essentially they have a contract where they don't have a military but america is if if they get attacked america has to respond to them they're like america like the big brother of the world absolutely yeah (laughs) and and that's that that goes back to like the scott joe here joe's gonna hang team america world police right we've all seen the movie we all know it It's, it's it's phenomenal and it's it's terrible at the same time but like (laughs) <laughs> that is that is the biggest issue that in my lifetime that I've seen is like when we don't get involved with shit, people complain and bitch and moan. True. And then when we True. get involved, yeah. in shit, so it's, you're very much moan. damned if you do, damned if you don't. It's like we don't half ass it. All right, <laughs> we're gonna come in there, and we're gonna fuck everything up. Like that's um, the game. Look, see, that's that that is true. Because like right now, how many Cubans are complaining about the U.S. not getting involved in Cuba to help them out? A lot. And I'm one of them. I'm I'm bitching, complaining. I'm boning all day long, right? Well, I mean, and, that's uh, just like how many Americans do you think? Like, all right, yeah, let's fucking go hang out in Cuba now. Well, well actually, yeah, I mean, though, it's a hard sell. I do not that it's not worthy. Not it's not a worthy call. No, no, you're not. But it's like, see, in in difference from from a lot of other <laughs> I'm sorry bro beer will do that to you and different from a lot a lot of other countries like Afghanistan like why the fuck did we go to Afghanistan like who told us hey go, let's go to Afghanistan and help them out huh? it, it, it's a resource man it's a resource war and exactly we went there for a resource but their people really didn't want us there they didn't care for us to be there it's a whole political thing this mm-hmm. what's going on in Cuba is a more humanitarian thing. Like the people yeah. are asking yeah. for help now. Oh, yeah. they're asking for help. Help. Yeah. They want us there. Like we want to go like the United States to do something about it compared to a lot of other places where we fucking went for no reason mm-hmm. and then wasted a lot of years. Vietnam. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Wasted a lot of years trying to secure something. And then the people themselves let it go down. I'll tell you right now, if that happens with Cuba, I'll fucking go there myself and bomb on myself. Yeah. Well, the unfortunate part is like we've spent so much time and effort over there that we're vested, right? We we have we have interest there now because we we have people, we have resources. Are you talking about Cuba or Afghanistan? Afghanistan. <laughs> no, we don't. We don't have anybody over there anymore. In Kabul, Not anymore. That one, that one Not anymore. Like, like we bailed on all of the assets that were there and stuff like that. Like we at some point. You know, not to, I mean, yeah, correct yeah. me if I'm wrong, but I mean, like, at some point, some politician was like, all right, well, we're not going to be able to get all the helicopters and shit out of there. Uh, but fuck it. It's the, 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 these nips are worth the squeeze. So let's get them out of there. Let's take the loss. Let's eat this turd sandwich. Mm, hell of a loss, but uh, it's a fucking hell of a loss. See, do but, you see the videos of the people falling out of the like the airplanes like trying to hold on oh yeah yeah we we looked at that we'll probably get banned for that uh but so mando i want to i want to ask your your opinion on this um because i know i at least i've heard in the news there's the the (laughs) issue there's the issue with the (laughs) embargoes right that were placed by america right Mm -hmm. but Mm -hmm. is it is it the embargoes is it the the name that's in charge is it what it's, what is going on over there and how could we how could we fix it in your opinion? I want to know. An intervention. <laughs> a full on intervention. Are it's you, not the embargo. Like send them to rehab? Or are okay, you talking like so, send Phil Team Six in and get rid of the entire like governing body? It's, it's yes, yes, yes. The whole it's not the embargo. I'll tell you sure. why. I'll tell you why it's not the embargo. The embargo does not prohibit countries, all the countries from dealing with Cuba. It prohibits American companies, American industries, like to, you know, like us Americans to make deals with them. Yeah. That's what the embargo does. Mexico makes deals with Cuba. Venezuela makes deals with Cuba. China makes deals with Cuba. Uh, Colombia makes deals with Cuba. Like we have, we have an economy in Cuba, but it's so nasty, like it's, it's so, 
so oppressed, so controlled that we don't really get none of that shit that we really are trading with those other countries. It's all for the high, you know, like high government um, officials or mm-hmm. high military officials. Where this, this is crazy. Tell me how five high generals, five high generals from the Cuban military how high the were they? they all died in the same week from natural reasons <laughs> well yeah, that's okay. pretty out of nowhere and that's and crazy. epstein hanged himself yeah epstein killed himself didn't he <laughs> yeah right <laughs> so, not a smart. so no it's not the embargo it's the embargo is not what's doing this it's not what's doing this there, you can look up in the internet videos and pictures of what government officials and tourism in Cuba sees and what they mm-hmm. eat every day compared to what the people go through, the, hus- yeah. the hospitals. But, it, it, you know, where the hell are they getting the lobster? Where the hell are they getting the nice cars? Where are they getting the, 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 the food? You know, where are they getting the nice drinks? Where are they getting all that from? They're getting it from somewhere else that is not America, but they do have some sort of trades with all the countries. So no, it's not the yeah. embargo. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but but I, I was just I was curious because obviously I'm not as uh, involved with the situation, but I was curious because I had heard both arguments. Right? It's mm-hmm. the corrupt regime. It's the embargo, and that's why. Just Sorry, like, Ron, why is Uncle Joe here? <laughs> I, was like, I don't know. I just, I just like to have him, you know, they just everyone was like, yo, he was only around for 20 minutes today. So I thought I'd I'd, I'd, I'd let him hang. Um, he was a supporting character in this discussion. Yeah, man. He, uh, he, you know, he'll, he wanted to hear your argument and uh, as, yeah. as an American. No, man. So, uh, I, I'll tell you what, though. Like, I'm, I'm going to call it right now just because it's like, I don't, I don't know if we can go on any longer without repeating ourselves okay. and i don't want it to be boring but so what i'm going to do is uh i am going to wrap it the fuck up and just call it there i mean you, you know we've got to think about it like this when you know it's kind of done and over with when you got creepy joe just hanging out on your six all the time so i feel like between creepy joe and and shirtless man doe it's been one hell of a uh, Monday. Paris, uh, too. It's been fun hanging out with you guys. I don't know, man. It's uh, the world is full of bullshit, and I feel like today's hour was just like a nice little, nice little vent sesh, and it was fun to hang out and uh, just catch up with other Replonians. If you guys want, check out the Replonians on Facebook. Look at them up. Do a little search and stuff. Become one of the become one of the gang. We'll hang out. We'll get weird. We'll do fucking weird shit uh other than that woof, holy shit i hope you have a great week uh you guys uh take care of each other be good americans if you can't be good be careful uh i'll talk to you guys later uh and and stuff uh wait hold on that's what i'll do i'll do that and then i'll do that and then uh yeah ladies and gentlemen uh thank you very much Bye.